up guys it's your boy sick dog here and today i thought i'd try to make something new for my channel like a recurring type of video like a series that i've never done before i thought i'd share my thoughts on every cod game zombie mode and each map within them i've always wanted to kind of be known as a cod zombies youtuber but i never thought of myself as like good at least not enough to compete with people like the smith plays mr t lexify or even JC Backfire, so I never really did anything with it aside from some streams and shit posts. Plus, back then I had complications getting footage from my Xbox to my shitty laptop anyways, which made even the shit posts hard to make, but now that I have a setup that's good enough to handle the footage, I'm ready to share my thoughts about the series that I live for. To start off this juggernaut of a series, I'm going to begin with the OG, the start of this masterpiece. Call of Duty Black Ops 1. But the World at War game started the Zombies franchise. Yeah, yeah I know. But not only were all the maps in that game remade into Black Ops and then Black Ops 3, but I never really grew up with that game. I at least have some memories of Black Ops 1 from watching my older brother play it and to me even trying it for the first time. So I may or may not talk about World at War but for now, I'm saving it for another time. And it wasn't new to see my brother and his friends playing a COD game. Back then, I thought they were all the same, but I was really wrong. He's a big multiplayer fan, so it mainly looked the same from, from Lil Perk's eyes. But when he did play Zombies, it was terrifying. <laughs> I'd watch a little bit, but for the most part, I'd look away or leave. Although it did spark my curiosity for it. So, one night, while my brother was out of the house, I snuck down into his room to play Black Ops on his Xbox. I was slightly scared of the menu once it turned to the zombies theme, but I decided to be brave and play at Kino. I didn't even pass the first round. <laughs> I walked around a bit, but once I saw the first set of glowing eyes from the black empty room behind some boards, I fucking dipped. Fast forward a little while, and I've mostly stayed away from the game, but when my brother broke both of his legs in a dirt bike accident, the living room was his, meaning I couldn't escape it. So I watched him and his friends play again. With him there, it wasn't as scary, and he was boasting about a new map. This map was Moon, and it was the shit. It was so cool. My brother and his friends didn't play too much of it from what I remember, as it took them a long time to realize what to do. First with the teleporter, then with the oxygen suits, and then where to go without a mystery box. But from what I saw, it was cool and space themed, and I loved it. Now that you have a bit of background from when I got my first taste of the game, let's talk about the maps. Starting with the first, Kino. Kino de Toten is a perfect map to me. I think it has the perfect blend of tight spaces and open areas to train. It's not too hard, but if you're not focused, you're not going to get to high rounds. Not to mention the lack of double tap made it a bit trickier when going back after playing Black Ops 2 or 3. But I think the map is overall well designed. I like the look of it as well. It's dark, with only really dull colors, but a very clear presence of dark red, whether it's blood, or the carpets, or the Nazi banners. The remake makes this place a lot brighter. But I'll talk about that when I do the Black Ops 3 video. The theme is also pretty creative. An old theater that's full of zombies and has a teleporter. Not something you'd see in a typical zombie game. That's probably the reason why I like a lot of these maps, because these locations are pretty creative, and some have never been done in zombies media. At least how Treyarch did it. Not to mention this first map is quite strange to begin with, as it doesn't really have much to do with the story. I mean, we don't outright get to collect anything. The map's only easter eggs are the film reels and the hidden song. If you're a casual player, I doubt you'd even know what the map has to do with anything. It was where Rick Toffin gave his speech to introduce a teleporter to other scientists. I might be wrong, but I'm also like 75% sure that's right, okay? Alright? <laughs> so in general, it seems pretty useless, but it looks good nonetheless. This map will always have a special place in my heart just because of the fact that it was my first map that I ever attempted to play. So yeah might be a bit biased when I say I don't have a lot of bad things to say about it, but the first bad thing in my opinion is the crawlers. See, crawlers themselves aren't bad enemies, nor are they hard to kill, but they do become quite the annoyance in the later rounds. 
As you progress, their stacking bodies can leave you to believe that you can just run right over them, when in reality, you end up getting hurt by their explosion and your vision is messed up for a few seconds. This can end up with you dying to an unseen straggler zombie hitting you more than once if you don't have Jug by then, or just recently lost it. You're going down, or worse, you're dead. So, crawlers aren't necessarily bad enemies for the game. I like their simple yet creepy design, but some things like that can be irritating. Another bad thing is obviously the broken double tap, but this pretty much goes for all the maps in this game. And I don't think I have any more complaints for Kino, so next map I guess? Five is a strange map. My opinions on it are really mixed, but I lean more towards disliking it. First off, the map is quite a change in difficulty from Kino. Maybe this is just me, but I find it a lot harder than Kino, which I don't like that much. Especially as I'm more of a casual player on maps like Kino or Five, ones that no one really wants to do anything on other than get to high rounds. So bumping up the difficulty with enclosed hallways and not terribly great wall weapons makes it suffer in my opinion. Next, the map itself is kind of cool, but nothing too new. Sure, everyone at some point has thought about what our government is hiding from us, all the secrets, but secret experiments and labs aren't too new to COD zombies. In the game just before it, we had a secret asylum where tests were done on people, we had a secret place where teleporters were built, we had a mysterious facility where 115 was found, and that's pretty much all we know. So, five wasn't extremely creative in terms of zombies, but it was still pretty neat. I like how each level of the facility is different, from seemingly a normal top floor to the techie machine filled floor and finally down to the bloody and dark labs. I also think that the Pentagon Thief is a pretty cool mini boss and the fact that he drops a bonfire cell is even better. But now on to the real negatives. First off, as I said before, in some areas it's really tight. So in the beginning rounds it can be hard to sometimes even get to the second floor, especially with friends. Not only are the doors expensive, but with more players it often takes a long time to get enough points to open a door. Secondly, while I praise the Pentagon Thief, I must say he also sucks on low rounds. High rounds he's a piece of cake, but on low rounds, if he takes your only good point gun or any gun except your pistol, it's almost guaranteed a down or a kill. But like I said, I'm probably just bad, but it happens to me and it sucks. Last thing, the characters. Now usually for this series I'm going to be talking about the maps uh, with Ultimus or Primus Crews, which are some of my favorites, but for maps like 5 I'm going to have to have a section where I talk about the characters too. And the 5 characters are... meh. Sure they give a few funny lines here and there and it's cool to play as a nation's leader and whatnot, but other than that they're just kinda flat. Just like generic president characters in thriller films. They just act badass because they look over a country, minus Robert. They don't really have any character outside of funny and badass. But if we're being honest here, none of the characters in Black Ops really had a good character. Disagree with me? Fight me, bitch. The next map is Call of the Dead. And I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I only recently played this map for the first time, so I don't have a lot to say about it in all honesty, so this will be pretty quick. To start off, I do like the look of this map too. Growing up in snow, I can tell you that it sucks ass, but here it's not too terrible. Yeah, the fog's a bit annoying, yet it doesn't take away from the map's look like it does in a map like... <sighs> that. So I feel like if anything, it adds to the snowy cold feel. Besides, that's what it feels like to be in heavy snowfall, so GG guys. Another thing I like is the water mechanic. I like how you only have some time to be in it, so you can't camp in it and kill George easily. I feel like it's a decent way to balance it and makes sense. K kind of. The first thing I don't like about this map, however, is George. At first I didn't think he'd be a problem, but man, was I wrong. He seems so slow, yet he can sneak up on you if you're not careful. Not to mention how tight some places can be. So with his tall, angry boy, he can really fuck you up without Jug. 
Secondly, again, this map just has some tight spaces. Moving more towards the beginning. Maybe it's just because I prefer to go towards the lighthouse first, but I most I mostly die in the early rounds because I get trapped with George in the lighthouse. The characters from this one I also really don't like too much. Maybe it's because, again, I haven't played a lot of the map, but they just feel too off, like the five crew to make a really impact on me. It's hard to explain rather than just saying I don't like them. It's cool that they're actors and celebrities, but that doesn't make you a good character. But for now, that's really all I have to say about Call of the Dead. It's decent. The Ultimus crew there for the Easter egg. It's kind of cool. Then we have Ascension. Now I've played this map more than Call of the Dead, but I still don't have more to say. Firstly, the first time I played it was on BO3. I really like zombies, okay? Trust me, I, I may not buy all the maps, but I really like the game. And I actually thought I wouldn't like it, but I did. I really like how you start off in black and white, and then when you turn on the power, you get color. I think that's a dope idea, and it adds a little bit of divergency to the maps compared to the rest. Another thing I think is cool are the launch pads. I think these are cool little ways to escape a horde on low health, and they unlock Pack-a-Punch, so it's a win-win, really. Other than that, however, it's just an okay map. In my opinion, it's kind of forgettable. When writing this script, I honestly forgot about it, so... But that's not to say it's a bad map, either. The only thing I really dislike is how small the Pack-a-Punch machine room is, but overall, it's just okay. They also made the sickle a thing, so... It's kind of dope too. Don't even get me started on those monkey Shangri-La. Fuck, what is there not to say about this beast of a map? Not to be confused with Shadows of Evil, the, the beast mode, you dummies. It has some of the best looking visuals from both the normal and remastered version out of any map made so far. It's a map that's actually pretty bright, Pack Punch is easy to get, and it has a badass wonder weapon. The aesthetic and little story behind this map also adds to its greatness in my eyes. It's not a terribly hard map either. I feel like it's a nicely challenging map, kind of like Kino with its own training places but things like booby traps at the start. But a god is not without its shitty side. To start the easter egg is just annoying. You have to have for people to do it. This can suck because not only is it hard enough to get another person to play with you sometimes, but needing for just to attempt it sucks. Another thing to add are the special zombies. The napalm and the screecher are just annoying. They just kind of show up and they're just kind of there and then dead. But it's just kind of annoying that they mess up your screen and damage you easier. Not really much there. But, moving on! Now, the map y'all have all been waiting for. Moon! And, as a warning, I have a semi-unpopular opinion one about it. Some people like it, some people hate it. But I actually really, really like Moon. And I don't really know why, honestly. I mean, sure, I like space and the moon, but this map isn't typically seen as good in some people's eyes. People don't like the teleporting Novas, the low gravity, some don't even like the wonder weapon. But me, I love it. And I'm fucking awful at it. I honestly just really enjoy trying to play this map. I love playing with friends, exploring the map, and I even love the space dog mini easter egg. I personally haven't done the moon easter egg before, mainly because I don't really have any friends to do it with currently, but I've watched videos on it, listened to the quotes, and I even wrote a whole script for my drama club about it. I ended up burning the physical copy of it because of no one liked it. Anywho. I just have to say, I don't really have anything bad to say about this map in general. 
The only real bad things are how you get jug, the tight corridors, and the Nova crawlers can get pretty annoying, but that's about it. The look of the map is also very nice. Each area has a different look, from the labs to the tunnels to outside. It all has its own look and feel to it. It feels like a real space station that was abandoned, and that's saying something. All the little details I added, along with another, albeit smaller map to the start, makes this map feel bigger, alive, and pretty much real. This adds to my weird, indescribable love for this map. But I'll say it now, it's not my favorite map. But it's definitely up there in the top three, I think. And with that, those are my thoughts on Call of Duty Black Ops 1 Zombies. Again, I'll be covering the World of War maps in Black Ops 3 um, when that video comes out in a few weeks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Feel free to tell me your thoughts on the maps in the comments below. And if I'm forgetting something or I didn't say my opinion on something in a map or something like that, go ahead and talk to me in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. Alright, see you later.